Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where everything's going really, really well. Although it wasn't for a brief period of time. Um, I've removed bentos. I got, got rid of it. So we don't have bentos anymore. However, <laughs> when I load the game up, I load it up. I hit super fast speed to let things go and do their thing. Um, I went to make a cup of coffee. I came back again and then discovered all of my food batteries had been removed from the game. Uh, I, I guess it's because I removed the mod which modifies the food factories. Uh, so, yeah, not quite sure why, but it was all gone. It was all completely gone. And I had to rebuy them with science and put them all back in again. But they're all back in again. All the food is good. We were fine. We were fine. No beavers died in this small instance. We are up to 23.69 on uh, iron bots, which is pretty good. However, we do have a few things which we are missing. Let me click on the happiness here. So, uh, the Earthship Operator, we need to redo. That's that's obvious when you say that. Um, our detailer is not doing all that well. Um, I was watching them a little bit. They do seem to be running all the time, so I don't think we have enough of them. We're also broken a thousand beavers. That's cool. Uh, the scratches, the swim pools, um, the exercise parza, wind tunnels, motorentorium. I think all those will be benefited from having less work time uh, mud buffs however um as you can see the mud buffs are not running and that is because they don't have enough mud so we need to get we need to get dirt we need to get more dirt so we need to mine more dirt however um we only have power here <laughs> we have power coming down the center here and coming out here but i don't want to mine over here anyway because well there's farmland here and i don't want to put big holes where beavers could fall down Although we could. We've got lots of green space here. Um, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So we won't do that. We won't do that. Also, uh, I didn't put any foresters on this side here. I've just noticed all these trees here are grown. These ones are not. Um, I didn't put any, any lumberjacks. I was going to put some on this coast here. I didn't put any down. Oops. Let's do that. Let's do that right now, shall we? Let's um, let's put a couple of lumberjacks in. So let's uh, let's see here. Let's put one. Let's see what? Where can we cover all of them? Is that so? That's where we can cover all of them down there. Then let's come down here and see where we've covered all. So that's where we cover all of them up there. So I'm looking at, when I click that there, I'm looking at the line that appears up there. So I put two in there. That'll do. That'll do. We we'll probably need more than two, but well, we don't need more than two actually. We're, we're good. We're good. So so see the line the line down here. As I'm putting them in, so there wouldn't be far enough. That is far enough down. Come along here and do the same on the right hand side up by the haulers. So that's not good. That is good there. Well, there you go. So we'll have four more lumberjacks to chop down stuff there. What is this? This is water. This is water. Ah, ah, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. The water. The water situation. Um, I have just recently built some more water towers underneath here with water. Um, uh, because um, we we weren't running out of water, um, but if we had a long drought and then a short wet season and then another long drought, the reserves were getting low. So um, I added more storage, so we have more storage going on there. So that's fine. Um, I did actually see them completely drain this tank out um, till they couldn't drain it anymore. So uh, yeah, um, the products were using so much more water. But, uh, yeah. So, how do we solve this problem? How do we solve the excavator problem? I'm, I, I said last episode, I kind of want to raise these up, put some excavators underneath, and then put them on top, like the, the woodworking and the um, gear workshops. So, I'm going to do that. But if I do that, I have to commit to it. As in, I need to remove these, put some explosives down, do the things, build the stuff, build the platforms above them, and commit completely to doing this because i can't just remove well i could remove one um, but and we've only got a certain supply of planks as well we've only got uh 1300 planks so yeah i'm really not sure if i want to or not we could do it over here as well because we like explosives we don't need the explosives anymore so we could destroy those put in some things here and then Put those above the ground that might work better actually put some down here 
because it's supposed to be we're not using we, we're not, well we are using very very slowly though so we've got a big surplus of them i'm just concerned that i'm gonna delete the wood do the things and then run out of wood trying to rebuild the thing so let's do it over here first do it over here first be safe be safe um so an excavator um, an excavator is what we're gonna do we're gonna do it so let's just remove all of those be gone thank you very much pick up all the stuff on the floor um we're gonna do it we're committing to doing it so i can get one there and then one next door to it so one there and one next door to it and then move this path to be here so this will work for us this will work for us so let's go let's go so demolish all of these be gone demolish all of these put the path in there make that a priority um so we're gonna put in two of these so one there and one there uh, i'm gonna protect them around the face in that way boom, and boom. power is the only problem we don't have to rotate them around. I could put one there and one there and uh, have a ladder going up to them. Um, wouldn't really help with the power situation though. Yeah, power's the only situation, the only, only problem here I can see. Um, how can I do this with power? Um, I did have to sink them in the ground by one. What if we were to either destroy one of these or one of these or both of those and then put the power under the ground there? So we'll destroy this, put a power underneath that corner, out to there, and do the same here. So we've got power on both sides. So we've got redundant power. I like redundant power. Redund redundant power is good. I like it. I think it's good. So um, let's do that as well. So let's get rid of you and you. I'm making a priority of all the stuff that's on the floor um, just to make sure beavers actually pick it up. Let's remove you and you. You can still get access to these buildings from coming around other sides at the moment, so that's fine. Um, let's dynamite out the entire area. Like that. And let's let the beavers put the dynamite in. Ah, uh, the wonders of video editing. Okay, make them go boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. The next thing I want to do is put in some power connectors. So these will get power from the, the uh, sources around them. The, uh, the buildings above them, I should say. Boop, boop. Let's put in a power connector there and there with a platform above it. Like so, and reconnect the path. And then rebuild the smelter that was here. And the extractor. Centrifuge, sorry. That was there. Well, there you go. So this will transfer power through this building, through this building, down to there. But on. Okay. Let's go with the dirt excavator now, which should just be a simple case of one, two, and we're done. Now, there's no fence around this, so our beavers might fall in. However, they've had this dirt excavator for thousands of days so i'm hoping the beavers are smart enough to know that you shouldn't go into the big hole and get mangled up into uh beaver bits um so uh you really don't want to be doing that really don't want to be doing that so yeah hopefully that will cure our problem of not enough dirt might need a little bit more dirt storage uh how are we doing for dirt storage we are well we'll see we'll see how the dirt storage goes um yeah okay beavers 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 build 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 and just like that the build is done awesome now we have to wait a while for these to actually get um any dirt out of them because they take uh, two hours to get six dirt so it'll be a while before that actually balances out hopefully that'll be enough um i think we're good i think Elsewise, we, else, elsewhere we are good. 
um, four things. Now, if I wanted to put in more of these uh, entertainment places, so let's say we wanted to put in, well, the dance halls are easy, the exercise parts are easy, uh, because we can put two more in like that. Let's just, just not say, let's do this and say, and say we're going to do that. Let's just actually do it, shall we? Um, exercise plaza. Put in one there. Put in one there. And then what I want to do, realistically, is I want to put another wind turbine back here. Like right there. And a uh, wind turbine there. And then a motivatorium here and here. And we can do that. We can do that because we have power running through these mud baths. They connect on the end and they run through the mud baths. So these are all power rails for us. So we've got two options. We can either um, take out a piece underneath and have the beavers uh, have the power come up into it. Or we can do what we did here and have it come through and connect to the center pieces. I think it only connects to the center back of these ones. So I kind of think I wanted that. Um, so do, 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 do. that's not dynamite. This is dynamite here. So I want to put a dynamite piece there and there there and there get them blown those up um, and then we can run a power line along and into the back and along and into the back and it also looks busy you know it, it looks, I, I i like power lines on the surface i very much do i think they are they are good they are they are interesting to look at There, and then we do doop 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 and doop and then we just need to do the up and, and level there for that one and then we can put the motivator i don't want to put the motivatorium uh, uh, the, i don't want to put these in place motivatorium or wind turbine tunnels in place wind turbines wind tunnels in place yet because um then the beavers can't get down here to do things and we want we want them to be able to get down here to do things so yeah okay go faster game go faster We'll see how stuff goes. Uh, dirt is actually increasing. Uh, dropping down time for beavers to have more time to do things um, is also... It, it will help because they'll get more things done, but it will lower the input of goods. So that means you won't be making this food as much, as much food every day. It's much good. So even though we've tripled our dirt production, if I drop the time down from 18 to, say, 12 hours a day, we're... Not halving our day, but we, we've doubled the production, and then you lose fifty percent of that production because of the the time, the less time that's involved with it. So, so we need to sort that out there. Um, I also am very tempted to get more grease factories going. I really feel like we should get more grease factories going. Um, but we just don't have enough. We just don't have enough grease factories. Um. Uh, unfortunately, I don't... Can we... No, this is beaver well-being. It doesn't show you bot well-being. So I don't know how to... Um... That's a bot down here. So... A lot of them are zeros and not ones. The only way we can get bonus... So we can actually get more than... Because um... uh, we can do control towers as well. I haven't done control towers anywhere. Um, to be honest with you, we have enough bots for everything to be working. It's, it's not a problem. We've even got eight bots spare. To be honest with you, even with all the um, uh, <laughs> the additional building to keep building. Um, so, hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Let's pop this one and this one. This one and this one. Let's put in an upward power shaft. Like so. Then there. And there, and there, and then a, a downward power shaft. There, 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 there. Okay, so you should build all those first, and then we will go back to uh, well-being, and we will grab a wind tunnel. And I'm going to put the wind tunnel this side, and that side, and the motivatorium here. Ooh. And here. So we've got 
Wind Tunnel Exercise Plaza Motivatorium. Wind Tunnel Exercise Plaza Motivatorium. Motivatorium in Exercise Plaza Wind Tunnel. Motivatorium Exercise Plaza Wind Tunnel. Is nice. Is very nice. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Bots don't ever seem to really be struggling for power. We always get the odd like one or two bots that need power, but generally they have enough power. Um, I can put more power places in, like dotted around. I'm sure we could get some in here somewhere if we wanted to. Like get two in here and two, like four in there and four in there. Uh, maybe even some on this side as well. We we, we could absolutely get power um, to them. In fact, um, I can move these three to be here. Um, one, two, three there. And then, or oh, actually, we could do a line out there and a line out there and run the path down the outside. And it could power from this. So, if we needed more power for bots, we can fit, we can move these into six and replace them with 12. With space in the center. So, we have options. We have more options. Uh, but bots are usually good. Bots are usually good. So, okay. So, now let's let everything stabilize and pick up. Let's build these things here. Let's let the things do the things they're doing. We will try and get our well being up um, uh, and going well. These just need to be picked up. These, these are the ones here. And then we can repopulate the earth and it'll be good. Um, the wet fur will be done with swimming pools. We could put some more swimming pools in. But um, I think that'll be done by dropping down some time and things. So. So let's um, speed up time and um, magically appear in the next part. So it's been a little while and our happiness has not actually increased. Um, this has gone up a little tiny bit, but not enough. Not enough. The detailer, um, yeah, we need more of those. We need more of those. That's okay. But what I'm going to do. Now that a new cycle is brought, one cycle, one sixty. We're going down to twelve-hour workdays. Twelve-hour workdays to give our beavers more time to do what they want to do, to have them chill out and relax and just, you know, be their beavery selves. Uh, I am going to put in a couple more uh, detailers. Uh, I'm going to put in four more, I think. One, two, uh, three and four and we're gonna do the same with these ones that we did before so we'll do that one that pattern that pattern and that pattern i have no you can't really see the beavers tails unless they're um sort of do, well, as they're running around because um even on so speed because there's so many of them you can't really see it when they're in here you can kind of see what's going on and there is a big variety as well um they don't they don't seem to just pick one over the other so you know it's pretty good you can also see it well in the campfires when they sit in the campfires because they have their tails up you can see yeah cool 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 okay so let's speed up time with that but um honestly oh always oh, safe uh honestly I, I think we're done i think we're done um we, we're creeping up on the happiness i just need to do a couple of tweaks here and a couple of tweaks there um but some more detail is coming in here i think the scratching post will pick up um now that we're using it some so now now obviously when uh uh 12 hours passes we all the beavers go home so they don't have to work with things they, they can just they can just go and do things there um and you see here the popularity of this is like half full most of the time whereas now hopefully it will start filling up even more because um uh, more beavers more beavers are available to do things so for, for the next sort of for 12 hours of a day they can do whatever they want to do it does include sleeping so yeah but um hopefully that will increase our population of 59 there we go but um i said i wanted to aim for 60 Said I wanted to aim for 60. Can we get to 60? Can you do it? Can you do it? Mud bath has gone right up. That's cool. Exercise Plaza should go up as well. Um, see if I click on this here. This is popular all like, all day long. Um, but uh, hopefully more beavers can actually get to it now. Uh, so, yeah. Don't teeth want to be like their creations. Always harder, better, faster, stronger. They want to be technologic. 60 happiness. We have it. 60 happiness. And do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. We've done it. We've hit the 60 happiness, which is the goal I wanted to go for. Uh, we can get a bit more and do more things like that. We are absolutely going to get more because we are going to launch this. Push the button. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
and there we go boom and now we're up to 70 happiness awesome 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 so i am happy with what we have achieved here Nyong. sun comes up our beavers are going to go off to new destinations new things new found wonders new places and we're going to call this series done we flattened the entire land built a giant reservoir in one place have all these aqueducts kind of we did my plan when we started this if you remember was i wanted to flatten the land that was kind of it really and then use aqueducts to do things which we have done which we have absolutely wonderfully done and i am super happy that we have achieved that um so everything's really good i have just realized we haven't put the expansions back in but that's not a problem that's not a problem yes we are using the explosives to make metal but we've got a big supply of them and i could put them in anywhere uh, explosive factories can just be put in so that's 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 fine that's fine it's a small oversight it's fine don't worry about it so we'll leave this one here we will come back next time with something new i think i want to take a small break from timberborn and uh, we might bring something else into the mix for the channel for a bit um i have had timberborn on the channel not quite daily but uh a lot for i would say almost two years like constant like it's, it's, it's been a constant thing for two years um easily easily so um yeah i think i want to take a small break from it and that means just a couple of weeks i think um uh, so yeah we will be back and we will try somebody else. We'll go to the um, folktales next, I suppose. We have to build their wonder. Yeah, we'll do that. But um, we're going to take a small break from this here and, and try something else for a little bit and see how we go because there are so many games, none of time. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this series. I do hope you'll stick around for more wonderful things in the future. If you have any suggestions for games and things that I should give a try out that's similar to Simperborn or conveyor belts and things in it, then by all means do let me know and I'll try and check them out and see how it goes. But this is it for this one. So until next time, as always, have fun.